Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm uh, I'm going to show you a simple log4j example. How can I use log4j in your sample application? I've written a very simple code to explain that. So first of all, the configurations. I have log4j properties, and in my project, I have included log4j127. Okay, so this is the jar I'm using now. Then in the log4j properties file, if you see in the root logger, I have mentioned error. So it is that this is the level that I want to log in the log file. Then what are the uh, mode like file? I want to append the logs and in the control and in the console output also I want the I want the logs to be printed. There are two redirection I'm doing. First one is file and the console output and this is my sample log file where logs will be printed I'm going to run this program you can see this log file will be printed with logs now here file I have given the file path just for demo purpose I have given the resources so that you can see it whereas in the real world application you can give any other path in the hard disk okay these are the other patterns and maximum file size and all and here I've given system dot out now I have written a very simple code say if the logger is debug is enabled it will print this statement if the informa information is enabled it will print this statement otherwise it will print these statements I'm going to run this program let's let us see how exactly it's, it's working so in the console output it will print two lines since at the at the the error has been enabled so these two logs are coming okay these two logs are coming and in the file also it will be printed can you see here so both the mode it is working fine so console output is working fine and in the log file also it is working fine okay I have explained you a simple log4j functionality there are more functionalities as well just how to log using log4j so we can we can the main functionality is this you have to use the logger class get logger you have to give your class name so that it will print the class name in your logs okay so this is very very important so we are using log4j's logger class and get the logger and start using all the APS these are the APS supported in logger log4j okay so these are the APIs supported in log4j we are using Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.